Hey, Jamison, I, I know early when you guys first reported, I think you guys mentioned it was tough to find some of the new balls. Have you been throwing with the new baseballs and do you see any difference in them? I have to be completely honest. I'm not sure what balls I'm throwing with. <laughs> I just throw what they're handing me. Um, I'm guessing once games pick up and once games start, uh, we'll we'll have those balls in our hands. Um, but yeah, I, I'm really not sure what we're using to be completely honest. Okay, thank you. Next one goes to Max Goodman. Hey, Jameson, thanks for taking the time. I noticed this off season that you're a gamer and that you played in those, you know, Fortnite MLB tournaments and such with all the protocols and not being able to be with your teammates in person. Is that a way that you can get to know your teammates here on the Yankees? There are a lot of gamers on this roster. Yeah. So during the quarantine last year, I bought a gaming laptop. I did play in some competitive like Fortnite events for charity. Um, I definitely got more into video games, <laughs> um, you know, much less time outside and, and hanging with friends. So I, it was a good way to stay in touch with guys, um, and it's definitely a fun way to loosen up and get to know guys. I've already been playing with Julie Chassin here, um, who we signed to a deal. He owns a gaming team, um, so I've gotten to play with some of the guys he represents and stuff. It's pretty cool. Um, but, yeah, we've we've already started talking about it. And, like, when I got called up to the big leagues, that was something we did in Pittsburgh. We traveled with games units, and we'd play PGA Tour in each other's rooms and and hang out. That was a really good way to find some common ground to get to know each other. So I'll, uh, I'll have to share my gamer tag with everybody. Appreciate it. Thank you. Next one goes to Randy Miller. Yeah, Jamison, when you talk about your innings, uh, do you try to save some bullets for the postseason? Does that go into your mind where a couple years ago, I think Strasburg came back and uh, stopped at 160, did not pitch in the playoffs. Matt Harvey went the other way. I think the agents were involved in this. Uh, are agents and family involved in this decision? And how do you factor into making sure that you have some bullets left for the playoffs? Yeah, so that's exciting just to think that everything we're doing here is gearing up to make a push in the playoffs. That really excites me to even think about. But, um, yeah, I mean, that's where the, the conversation is going to have to be. Um, I need to know what they expect of me, and I want them to know how I'm feeling constantly. Um you know, obviously the worst case scenario for me would be a run out of innings. Um, so we want to make sure I'm ramping up in the right direction and trending in the right direction. Um, I think, you know, best case, we keep everyone outside out of it and we keep it in-house. And I communicate with, you know, a very collaborative approach. You have the strength staff, the training staff, the pitching coaches, the managers, the front office, and you just have this open collaborative effort where, um, you know, we kind of just keep each other in the loop on everything.